Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the, uh, sorry, the monthly, I keep saying middle of the month, the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini's moon, sun, and rising. If you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there, okay? So let's see what spirit has for you, Gemini's, for the month of October 2017. Been shuffling the cards for quite a while now, so... Messages you have for Gemini's for the month of October 2017. What are the messages you have for Gemini's for the month of October 2017? Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages for Gemini's for the month of October 2017? Okay, I feel this is going to be my last shuffle. One more. Okay. See what spirit has for you, Gemini's, for the month of October 2017. You have the Four of Cups, the Fool, Temperance, the Moon, wow, okay, the Page of Pentacles or Page of Coins, the Ace of Wands, the Devil, the Three of Coins, Five of Swords. Magician, the Strength card, the Five of Wands. All right, Gemini's. Well, you definitely have a lot of major arcanas in this reading. And look what Spirit has for you guys for the month of October. Okay. So, the general energy here is the Star card. That's your general energy for the month of October. So, what this represents as a general energies, for the month of October, you're going to be experiencing a lot of shift changes, Geminis. The star card is all about uh, getting clarity, uh, something you've been hoping for or praying for, finally coming through, uh, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, clarity, again, like I said, um, clarity based on a lot of confusion that's been going on. So, let's get into your reading. You have the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups is definitely talking about a missed opportunity or an opportunity or situation where you weren't quick to react to it, so you kind of missed out on that. You have the Full card here. The Full card is um, taking on, taking on uh, opportunities, but you're taking on these opportunities not being very methodical in the way you approach it. So what I mean by that is for the month of October, I want you guys to be very careful when it comes to making decisions. Whether this is in the business front, whether this is romantically having to do with people you're dealing with, uh, don't be very quick to run to making decisions. Don't be very quick to say, yes, I want to get involved with this person. Don't be very quick to say, yes, I can take on this project, whatever it is. Be careful. And the reason I say that is because you do have the Four of Cups here. And the Four of Cups is boredom, but it also speaks about uh, missing in an opportunity. Based on this opportunity that was missed, now you feel uh, that perhaps you missed out an opportunity or having to react to something. And there's been a little bit of stuckness. And based on that, when a new opportunity comes along, you're going to run to it. And again, you're basically taking on not the characteristics of being spontaneous and being daring, but being the fool. So try the best you can to be very careful with that. Now you do have the temperance here. The temperance, again, balance. You need balance in your life, Gemini. Try the best you can not to make quick decisions or decisions that are not based on a clear mind. Uh, there's a lot of confusion going on here. And again, um, you know, temperance next to the fool it's, it's telling you, be cautious about making these irrational decisions. Uh, you have the moon right next to it. So I feel that there's, this is two scenarios where one, you're, re, you're, you're very quick to make decisions without having a clear mind. And two, you're making decisions off of emotional feelings. And that is the out worst you could possibly do. So what I mean by that is you're not making decisions based on clear mind because your emotions are overwhelming you. This could be whether you're upset, angry, or whether you're happy and blissful that you're not really thinking ahead. So you 
be quick to act to certain situations or scenarios. The moon here is at the end of this week. So again, like I said, be very careful about making quick decisions or irrational decisions. The fool is basically a warning uh, not to jump into something uh, based on the fact that you feel stuck or you've been experiencing sub some type of blockage in your life because things are not always as they seem. An opportunity may be painted very beautifully to you, but is it really? This is the thing. When, it, it, when it's too good to be true, it usually is not. You know, it's usually not true. So again, pay very close attention to those warnings for the month of October. Now you do have the page of coins here. Whoops. The page of coins here. So there is a message coming through. A message in regards to either a new person coming into your life, Gemini. Or a message coming through in regards to a new opportunity in the business front. Now you do have the devil card next to the ace of uh, wands. So the devil card could be a representation of success. Um, I don't see this in a negative, And the reason I say that is because, again... Uh, the devil card could be a representation of addictions, of anything that has to do with drugs and alcoholism. For some of you guys, uh, you know, maybe for some, you guys are in the business of, you know, um, I don't know, your bartenders, something to do with drinking, whatever. Um, so again, there's an opportunity coming in. Uh, but the devil card can also, it, it is represented as a Capricorn. And Capricorn is, you know, a way of seeing it is the devil is a representation or it represents in the tarot a Capricorn. And the reason for that is because Capricorns are very bound to all the material. So having to do with sex, having to do with addictions, having to do with power, authority, but also uh, it's the good and bad. You understand? Uh, we all have that within ourselves. So again, uh, I feel that with this ace, there is power that comes with it. But be very careful because you do have the moon and the three of coins here. Now, the three of coins is working in a group. So here's the thing. From what I'm seeing is if you're given an opportunity to uh, get in the business or you get a, a business proposal that has to do with dealing as a group setting with three people, um, and they paint this picture of just, you know, grand door, grand, grand life, whatever it may be. Um, be very careful about it. Don't be very quick to make a decision, okay? Because I feel that there's illusions behind that. Now, with the Ace of Wands and the Devil card right next to each other, what it can also represent is there is this connection that is going to happen in the middle of October for you singles out there. And this connection is like the passion is going to be ignited. Perhaps it's a Capricorn person you're going to be dealing with uh, for the month of October. And this connection uh, could be of that of relationship, but it can also be of that of working as a group or going to them uh, to be able to bring or manifest something for you. Now, if this is the case, and the reason I say this is because, um, you know, the devil in the card is, is speaking very loudly to me. I'm getting this overwhelmed feeling like almost um, almost mysticism, esoteric type of energy. So here's the thing. If you go to a person to bring abundance to your life as an example, um, and you're willing to not just put the effort, but actually do exactly as they tell you, then the the outcome's going to be great for you, okay? Uh, because you do have the page here of coins, uh, which is like you've been resisting or you've been trying to get to a higher position in the company you're in and it just doesn't happen. And then all of a sudden for the month of October, whether it's a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius Leo or Aries person, or whether it's a Capricorn that comes all of a sudden out of the blue, into the business front uh, that you're having to work with or whatever. Um, and they kind of help you bring out the best in you and you're able to work in a group setting, then you're going to be able to manifest what you've been wanting, which is stability. The reason I say that is because the full card is crowning the ace of wands. 
So it's like you're not being a fool because you're actually taking on an opportunity, right? Uh, with the third party energy, a third person, you're taking on that opportunity because they have grounds or it's a grounding opportunity that they can guide you step by step through it and the manifestation happens because the magician card is here, okay? Now, for those of you guys in the love front, if you've been dealing with the person of a water sign, uh, perhaps no longer in your life or currently walked away from your, you guys kind of broke up or whatever it may have panned out. Um, it was based on the fact that there was a lot of uncertainties, a lot of things hidden from you. Now, the page of coins is definitely talking about a person or a message coming in with this ace of wands for a new beginning. And the devil card, this is a person that is very strong tempered. It's a person that's very uh, tied to anything that has to do with the material. So they're either well off, uh, they're business people, or they have very high connections. Okay. And again, if this is a new person coming in, whether it's a Capricorn or whether it's a fire sign, um, be very careful when it comes to dealing with them on a sexual level. And the reason I say that is because I feel that it's kind of like they ignite the passion within you, but then they're very quick to go to another person. Or once they kind of get tired of it, they're able to move on to the next. So I am just trying to keep, I'm trying to keep you away from any heartbreak or any difficulty when it comes to that. Although Gemini's, this could be you as well because Gemini's, <laughs> Gemini's are known to get bored very easily. So it's a general reading. It could represent you or it could represent the person you're dealing with. Now, by the end of the month, uh, you have the five of swords here. So there's going to be uh, some type of fallout with either an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And you're finally moving on, releasing what no longer serves you. Going through difficulties, the strength card can also represent, for some of you guys that have a family member or relative or someone that's been having ill health with the five of um, swords, could be that uh, there's a lot of miscommunication. For those of you guys that are married, it could be that, you know, a uh, family or relative someone has been having a little bit of ill health and the five of swords is a representation of stress and arguments based off of stress uh, but finally by the end of the month you're able to see whatever you've been praying for or some type of healing energy coming through for the month of October because you do have the strength card here the strength card is a representation of healing you do have temperance at the top uh, so there's a healing process that's going on for some of you guys, uh, for some of you Geminis, it could have been the loss of a loved one and you're currently going through healing process. Try the best you can if in fact you have been, you have lost a loved one or a family member. Try the best you can not to lose yourself in the illusions, the illusions that may come of drinking or drugs, okay? The reason I say that is because the full card you're acting a fool based on the fact that you are emotionally um, devastated. And you have the temperance, which there is a need for balance. There's a need for clarity. But you're not allowing that clarity. You're not allowing that healing process because you refuse to see things for what they are. And you choose to be lost in the confusion, perhaps to do with drugs and alcoholism. It's like you're suppressing your feelings or emotions uh, you know, and that's the reason why you're drinking or that's the reason why you're doing, uh, drugs or consuming drugs. So again, uh, this is a general reading. Doesn't necessarily have to be you, Gemini, experiencing this. It could be a person that is surrounding you or a person within the family that's going through this. So again, uh, be very mindful if in fact this is you. Uh, sometimes, of course, losing someone we love is devastating, but we have to take things for what they are. And life is nothing but seasons. Uh, you know, we have summer, but we also have autumn. We also have winter. At the end of the day, you have to see things clear, clearly um, and not resist any changes, but embrace new beginnings, okay? Uh, the way of seeing life is the best is yet to come. You cannot be dwell, dwelling in the past or 
you know, reliving the past because what you're doing is you're tainting your future, uh, putting energy towards that because it's going to keep continuously keep bringing you to a situation where you're going to always have to be placed looking towards the past like that was the best that happened to you. So try to kill or end that type of cycle, Gemini. Okay. Now, you do have the Five of Wands here at the end of the month. The Five of Wands is definitely talking about um, arguments and misunderstandings, the moon, the three, and the five. For some of you guys, it may be that you, you know, things come out to, to light within the family or within a family dynamic, and there's confrontation based on the fact of illusions or based on the fact of uh, deceit. Um, again, like I said, I do feel that you're going to be able to get through this wiser, Gemini. Um, and, and even for some of you guys, it could be that you find out the person you were dealing with. Um, actually, there was a third party type of thing here because the five of wands, there is arguments. But the five of wands also represents the fighting of attention. So perhaps you find out that they were talking to someone um, for those of you that are single, of course, that the person you were dealing with was actually giving their attention to someone else, whatever, it, whatever, it, however it may play out at the end of the day. It's like I said, take life the way seasons come. They come. You can't force them to stay. You have to embrace new beginnings, Gemini's. OK, I know this is not going to resonate with everyone. It was an all over the place type of reading but usually happens with air signs <laughs> anyways. So I hope it resonated with some of you guys. Uh, comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we will see from each other in the middle of the month. Bye.